your week going? <laughs> like and subscribe. I'm calling Mardi Gras, life a party, party hard. Everything I know from growing up said I'm gonna stay the same. Cause I always evolve, but the thing is I'll never change. I'll be going off like, oh my god, I'm counting constellations. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. I'm not there so yeah, I just got back from the gym and I felt terrible at the gym today. This is not our cat. This is our neighbor's cat um, who comes and says hi to us every single day. I just felt really exhausted and not really like my normal self. Hopefully the rest of the week is a little bit better. Guess who has strep throat? Me. Yeah, but I'm gonna have a shower now and then get ready for my first lecture, which is at eight. So we've got an hour to get ready. You shall find. I know you want the truth inside the lies. Her heart cries, you know she traumatized. Don't know why, but looking for a reply. A piece of hope she keep it deep inside. I can't get enough of you. How many times you gon' run in circles? You can't keep on running from the truth. Go ahead and let them haters take a shot. You know I love is bulletproof. All they trying to do is drain your energy. Now it's time to recoup. I know they piss you off, got you hot, I'm loving how you play it like it's cold Ever since you elevated, now they saying you be acting brand new You ain't gotta worry about it, hit my line up, girl, you know I'm coming So I just thought I'd fill you in a little bit on what I'm actually doing today So today is the first day of our professionalism week Every single day of the week we have a different thing that we're doing, a different activity so today now I have to go into uni at 9 30 until 10 30 and I am doing a fake gathering history with a um with a client then I can come home and have lunch and I have to go back in the afternoon to finalize the consultation from two till three giving back the results of the diagnostics from the history that I gathered this morning just got back from my fake consultation um, and it went really well. I was first up, which made me really nervous. Oh, focus on my face, please. My scenario was about a Clydesdale, a Clydesdale horse that had been losing weight. So basically just ask questions about diet, about dental history. So has there been any recent dramatic changes in Tipsy's diet? Okay, so have you noticed any other similar signs with other horses on the farm? And so now I have a break until two o'clock. It's like 11 now. I'm gonna chill out for an hour. I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix on my laptop. I just finished my second consult of the day. It went really well. I got great feedback from my group. It was really nice to hear that I'm on the right track with how I communicate to clients. Um, I'm just letting myself have a bit of a lazy day today because I'm feeling so tired. I don't ask so cause I don't know you. What the fuck you want from me? Man, I had to ask the sound of you Thought that's my plate, don't touch it Hold up my lane, don't cross it Try and cut me off so often Y'all make me eat with caution I really want to go walk in the rain So that's what I'm going to do Put my walking shoes on and go for a walk in the rain about to go to bed it's 9 30 um, and I have just finished a really big day so today this morning we learned about how to write CVs and do interviews and like finances for when we're new graduates and then this afternoon we actually had a careers expo which was really cool where we got to like meet different people from the industry different vet clinics who might be hiring new graduates in a year's time it's been a really big day I'm feeling really tired so I'm gonna go to bed now tomorrow morning 
We have a job interview game on Zoom, which is basically where we get to pretend we're um, in a job interview, whether we're um, the ones interviewing or some of us are being interviewed. I'm not sure if I'm going to get up and go to the gym tomorrow morning. I haven't decided. Kind of going to set my al alarm and then see how it goes. <laughs> It is 6am on Wednesday morning and I got up and I thought I was going to make it to the gym this morning. I actually think I'm going to try and get a doctor's appointment today. I have a really sore throat. Dramatic pause. I just found out my exam results are out. Oh, I don't even know if I want to look. No way. So glad I had that over and done with. Just got to interview some of my classmates and that went, was really fun. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. I loved hearing their responses too. The two people that I got to interview, I think they both did it so well. Like I, if I was being interviewed by my peers on Zoom in front of a bunch of other people, I would be pooing my pants. Like I'd, <laughs> I'd be so nervous. So I think that they both did fantastic. I actually just got a call from the nurse. So I called to describe my symptoms to a nurse. I had a, a negative COVID test last week. Uh, they want me to come into the clinic and have my throat looked at. So I'm going to the doctors at 10.30. I have like red splotches all over my throat. So I'm really hoping it's not like strep or something like that. Cause that would just be really fun. I'm gonna um, go to the supermarket as well and get some more coffee. Cause um, I told the flat I was gonna buy everyone coffee yesterday and I forgot to buy coffee. Stupid me. Guess who has strep throat? Me. I have strep throat. So we just finished an afternoon worth of listening to people from different professions tell us different things about themselves. So we had one talking about what it's like failing as a professional. We had one talking about what it's like being a locum vet. What's it like being a veterinary pathologist? I was gonna go around to my friend Bailey's house, but... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should just go see Bailey. Do you wanna go see Bailey? We should go see Bailey. Let's go do that. Bailey. Hi. So we're helping Libby move house. So Libby just said, hey Jess, why are you not? Vlogging me moving house. I'll let's do an auntie montage of Libby moving house. I'm looking back at the past and I feel regrets. I wanna walk on the block, see where we met. Try to forget that you went on with someone else instead. Maybe it's better if I never love. So I don't have to open up. And you don't have to lose my trust. Every time. so stupid right now. I've come to sit in my bed and be lazy this evening. I don't remember why I came on here. Oh, I wanted to share with you something really, really cool. My amazing friend Jasmine, she did me in a, a huge favor and she's designed some new um, branding for my channel. So I thought I would show it to you. Obviously you're gonna see it on this video and around this video. Check this out. This is what she did for me. She made me um, some new Some artwork for my channel, which I think is so cool. Like how awesome is that? She's so talented like amazing Jasmine if you are watching this. Thank you so much. I really really appreciate it. Um, you're amazing Good morning guys, it is um, Thursday morning and it's 8am and um, today is a no, no bones day. There's two 
two different kinds of people on a Thursday morning. Sam, Mandy. <laughs> Mandy's having a no bones day too. She didn't get out of bed till later. <laughs> I got out of bed because Sam has a little friend coming to the house. You make it sound like I ordered them. <laughs> She's getting a duckling. I should have just come out with there is like a pet coming. Sam's getting a duckling and um, it's arriving in a few minutes so I wanted to get out of bed so I can see it. That is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. I'm really sorry about the quality of this vlog. My strep throat has just been absolutely ruining any and all the plans. I went shopping with my friends. I'll show you what I got in a minute. My lunch consisted of. Oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> my lunch consisted of this and a smoothie. I have a salt and vinegar chip obsession. Like, it's like a problem. For our small animal clinical rotations next year, we're in the veterinary hospital and they require like smart casual wear. So that involves like nice pants, a, maybe a blouse and some dress shoes that um, are veterinary clinic appropriate. And then you wear like a lab coat over top and that's kind of the attire. So I wanted to get some new shoes that I can wear around the clinic. So these are my new hospital shoes. I've got these and also these are gonna be what I will wear around the veterinary hospital. I got these from the number one shoe warehouse in New Zealand for only $55, these ones here. Now I'm gonna put my get my shit together and I'm gonna go and help my flatmate bake a cake because it is my other flatmate's birthday tomorrow. So we're gonna go bake a cake, um, but I just wanted to show you <laughs> a realistic day in my life. What I have been doing today is practically nothing. <laughs> I've been in bed. I'm gonna go make a cake now and you're gonna watch me do it. I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know, I think it's a good, like, medium rare. <laughs> Look at it compared to this ever. Like, it's dark. Yummy. It looks black on camera. Like, it literally looks like. It wasn't meant to be like, actually not that bad. Not bad. It looks quite funny, though, with the strip down the middle. Just look at how this cake looks right now. It looks hilarious. It's getting worse. I didn't think it could get worse, it's getting worse. <laughs> look, if we just cover it in sprinkles, you won't even be able to tell. <laughs> How's your week going? It's a this is a representation You're not allowed to look, Meg. I'm not a great cake maker anyway. So I have never made a cake this shocking. <laughs> like, come on. It looks like a five-year-old got into the kitchen without parental permission 
and went ham with some flour and milk. Mm. He's brilliant. Welcome to Jess and Sam's kitchen. Mostly Sam, a little bit of Jess. <laughs> no, don't you mostly Sam this. What do you mean? You don't want to claim it? Well, I, what did I do? Crack a couple eggs? Oh, fuck crowd. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this week in my life and I will see you next time. Cut the